Hey there, secrets of style, knowledge, and all that good stuff. Joe here from Style by Joe, and apparently I need to start this video with an apology. Some of my friends who watch me, who garden, who look up my gardening tips said, Joe, your winterizing one was too short. You went too quick. Why don't you do one in November and one in December? So, okay, I'm sorry. So, in today's Grow With It, I'm going over your November gardening to-do list. And number one is you want to plant your spring bulbs. Obviously, these are flowers that come up in the spring, so you can't plant them then. Get them in now before the ground gets frozen. Number two, went over this one too. If you have not by now brought in your house plants that live outside on your deck, on your patio, that you don't want to lose because of the cold weather, you better bring them in. I know in Pennsylvania, we've had a couple cold nights. We're going through a warm spell right now, but baby, it's about to get cold outside. Number three, mulch those falling leaves. It's free mulch. Why not take advantage of that? Number four, time to start canning those fruits and vegetables. The last of your fall growing should be canned. Even if you still have some herbs that are coming up, dry them in the oven. They're going to be fresh dried herbs, as opposed to the one that have sat in the grocery store for six months, eight months, a year. They're going to taste so much better. And let's face it, they came from your gardening. Number five, if you have any uh, kale, spinach, onions, things that you have grown for your last harvest, you better start harvesting them now. Again, that ground is going to be freezing really soon. Speaking of the ground freezing, speaking of those leaves, apply mulch now. You're going to save your roots. And again, you're going to be using that mulch that you, uh, the leaf mulch that you just made. Number seven, store your patio furniture, your pots, your watering cans. It's time to bring those all inside. Yes, you know, it might be nice in Thanksgiving to be able to sit outside, but man alive, I would just start to bring that stuff in. A hard freeze is going to start to ruin the, the finishes on all of those. Number eight, if you live in an area that's prone to get snow, you want to put markers up on your driveway for when the plow comes, for when you're plowing. You don't want to ruin your lawn. You don't want to lose some of those plants. And uh, if you have any features in there, you don't want to lose them either. Number nine is winterize your tools. And I went over that. I don't care if it's the lawnmower. I don't care if it's a shovel. I don't care if it's your clippers, an axe. They all need to be clean, they all need to be sharpened, and they all need to be ready for next spring when you use them. Number 10, feed the birds. I mean, I know that things are starting to dry up, you know, they can get the seeds, but winter's going to be here soon. Let's take care of our feathered friends. Number 11, winterize that chicken coop. I know um, that they said that the two things that sold out in catalogs this year were seeds and were chickling or uh, hatchlings. Let's not lose them. Take care of your birds so you get eggs all year round. And number 12, and I didn't know that this was a thing, but you need to overwinterize the crops that you want to keep. Um, spinach is one that I know that they do it with. I think they do it with kale. What it is, is the ones that are just planted now, you're going to cover they're going to go dormant until spring. You're going to uncover them, unmulch them, and they are super sweet, super tender, and super tasty. Hey folks, this has been Joe from Style by Joe. Today on my Grow With It, I went over 12 things to do in November for your garden. Style by Joe by now, of course, is the YouTube channel that you have subscribed to. If you can't, you can click below subscribe there. You can also go to my other channels or sites and subscribe to those. I tell you all the time, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Share them with your friends and family because they deserve to be just as stylish and knowledgeable as you are. I also tell you all the time, thumbs up are great, but 
letting me know, dropping me comments about what worked for you and quite frankly, what didn't work for you helps me become a better YouTuber and a better channel for you guys. Folks, stay stylish. I'll talk to you soon.